Okie dokie. Here we go. Doki doki oki club. Doki doki voting on game jam games club. Doki oki doki. Doki yes. Okay. Very good. Wonderful. Here we go. Finally. Um blah, 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 blah. And that's all this trip. Great. So we're going to head. God, yeah. Head. Oh, gotta adjust this. It's gonna be loud probably. But you're just gonna have to get over it. Okay. Here we are. Day 13. Hopefully, the final day of game jam review and mic adjustment simulator 20 2018 all right last day we've got 15 entries up here ready to go ready to get rated we're going to check out of course our comments oh wow two posts um <laughs> awesome work on this oh thanks man hey thanks a lot uh you're uh, comment means a lot to me. I'm glad you got the references. Hi. I'm glad you got the references. I don't know which game he did, but I'm sure I've rated it already. <laughs> I'm glad you got the references. Um, hope you had a wonderful time. Let's see. I like the concept going into this. However, the execution was a little iffy. Like, the bridge that slowly comes down requires waiting for a full minute, it seems. If you want to take this project further, you definitely need to watch some people play this alpha and see where they find it frustrating. Yes. I totally agree. I agree. I think... I... We missed the mark on the length and time of sections in some spots. Uh, I guess I overestimated <laughs> how long I was, or how, or underestimated. That's right. Uh, how long I was speaking in every section. It, <laughs> uh, I thought about trying to edit the commentary a bit, but uh, it was already committed. <laughs> and time was short. Uh, I thank you for your constructive comment. Hope you en enjoyed anyway. Totally agree. Our game, I definitely got a little bit long-winded in 99.9% .9 of every one of these little chat boxes. I don't think, I think I overestimated the amount of time that it would that people would be patient for i definitely underestimated how quickly people move through games even even half of the time on every single dialogue would have changed the overall flow of the game but not very much <laughs> so i totally agree with that comment's great uh my brutal weapons. Ah, 
Yes, this one, where you could run through and not touch the goblins at all. Said, true, actually, no reason to kill them. Thanks for playing and the feedback. Uh, I just gave him a comment like, hey, maybe make things actually kill you. Or, or reason, like the doors need to open up because they have a key or something. Because there was no point in that game to do anything except for fight the last boss for the victory screen. But it was fun. So, I love this game a lot. Oh yeah, Fruit Thieves. That was that was really good. Uh, they're glad that I enjoyed the game. You're welcome. That was was pretty fun. I've been pretty good. I really do appreciate you trying. Let me know if anything changes. I will try to go back to that Mac issue as soon as I can. But I don't have a lot of time right now. <laughs> Spread myself thin. Uh, escape sequence. Oh, sorry about getting stuck thing. Worked on the most common cases, but you guys keep finding new ones. <laughs> of course. Playtesting likes to break things in new and interesting ways. <laughs> Still a great experience though. I feel like I didn't give him enough um, positivity in my thing, but you know, it's okay. This one is Captain N attack. Oh, this one was so good. Thanks. The remix was done in note block. I only sync with the stages and skip apart. You can hear the full songs here. Okay, cool. Oh, you can hear the full song here. He did a full mashup. Okay. That's cool. That was a really cool game. All right. Well, now that we've done all of this, let's go back to uh no <laughs> no almost there squeaker mission we're gonna start the day off with squeaker mission on this shotgun edition of meta game jam review trying to get these last 15 games just knocked out as quickly as possible so here we are squeaker mission by uh a team of developers who could be any size and of any names but i don't know because i didn't look Good. What is this? <gasps> Look, it's it's our game. Yes. Wait. What? Two weeks into a few days, the project didn't get very far. It did end up functional. You can view quite a different page. You can't do anything, which is a massive shame. Is is a little bit of a shame. Oh, this is cool though. This is really cool. I mean, this is all I can do. This is this is gonna be a nice, <laughs> nice quick one. But hey, this is this is really, look at how cute this little mouse is. He's like, I got a tail. It's got a spiky thing. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, well that's <laughs> plenty of game for me today. All right, well, that was incredibly, incredibly short. <laughs> Hooray! Hopefully it's all the really short games that I haven't done yet. <laughs> Overall, gotta give that a three, because I liked where the concept would have gone. Meta-ness quality, very, very meta. Uniqueness, probably it's very unique, too. Gameplay innovation, it doesn't work, so can't give it more than three stars. Probably two, because you just ran out of time to implement what you did. It sounds like your scope wasn't too bad, it just... You just, you know, it's fine. Fun. It's all right. Humor. Not a lot of humor. There's no audio. Aesthetically, I love that little mouse, but I, hey, if you finish this into a game, let me know. Love the concept and the little mouse. Also, name is very punny, which is a plus. Good work. Sometimes you just have life and you can't develop things the way you want to. That happens. I was Squeaker Mission, and I still don't know who that was by because I'm not paying attention. Hey! Uh, yeah. So we'll 
we'll just pretend that I said their name properly. Actually, just look here. It's Diovolente.games. All right. Next up, we have just another flappy game. Team of One, submitted by Extreme Rabbit. Wow. Looking forward to playing a Flappy Bird. Are you tired of all the Flappy Bird comes clones that just keep on coming? Well, this is the ultimate Flappy clone. The goal is simple. Try to keep the poor bird alive as long as possible. Let's see how long you can keep it up. Stupid mode. Oh god, this is just like the game. Eli and I made. <laughs> what is going on with this? How does how do you control this? Oh, wait, what? Did the How do you control this? Classic mode. Okay. Oh god. Oh. Dumb mode. None of the modes work. None of the modes work. <laughs> Idiotic mode. Should I not be collecting these stars? I guess not. Wow. Okay, maybe I have to click on stupid mode. No? Oh my goodness. I just want to figure out how to move at all, if it's even possible. Nope, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Dumb mode. Oh, this is, this is nice. You just click and drag the mouse. That was really dumb. Okay, what about, is stupid mode click and drag? Or is this just you can't do anything? This mode is so frustrating. <laughs> oh, can I get it? No, no, okay. Get me out of this stupid game. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> I think that's it. I don't know if stupid mode. Does anyone have an explanation of stupid mode? <laughs> yeah, the unresponsiveness is a purpose. I really want to simulate the original game's frustration. That's why I brought it into the game. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. Okay, well that was <laughs> just another flappy game by Extreme Rabbit. Overall. <laughs> just a three because stupid mode was really stupid and I don't know if it was just a troll but it probably was and I hated it metanist quality oh the quality is pretty good because it's just a rage game um it'd be cool if you had other rage mechanics in there like a leaderboard or something so you could you know that was kind of a big thing with flappy bird I think is just being against people against people is always great Uniqueness of Metanus. Uh, you know, it's, it was alright. Gameplay innovation. I'll give you an extra star because of stupid mode. Straight up. Fun. Pretty fun. Humor. Pretty funny. Audio. Left some to be desired. Aesthetically. Worked for this project. Save the rating. Okay. Stupid mode. It's stupid. That's all I have to say. Great work. All right, that was just another flappy game by Extreme Rabbit. Moving on, Eat Sleep Code by J Wiggs, team of one. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Click anywhere to begin. Initializing console. Console ready. Okay. Oh no. Oh dear lord. Um 
You are a freelance programmer. Programming doesn't pay the bills very well these days. The only way to make money nowadays is to accept contracts. They don't pay very much, but every bit helps. Life is hard. <laughs> Smash the keyboard to write scripts. <laughs> Use the arrow keys to navigate up and down. Click scripts to the left to code them. Tab to go to console, or click it. I thought you said, smash the keyboard to write scripts. Tutorial, then. Oh my frigging goodness. What is this? What is this? Ah! <laughs> what? This doesn't say anything. <laughs> This is not a helpful tutorial. Help. How do I... Oh, God. Help. Um, console script. Oh, my gosh. Money. Three dollars. I've only got three dollars to my name. Sounds like real life. Energy. 49% energized. I'm probably screwing myself already. Hunger. 22.3%. Hungry. You know, that's fine. We can... We can definitely be fine with this. This is a fine thing. We're just going to keep saying that. Status is fine. Status equals... Why can't I do status equals fine? Equals fine. Dang, bro. Status. Oh, that shows us everything. Three dollars or five dollars? Is do we only have a maximum of five dollars that we can have? <laughs> uh, suicide? What? Really? That's not meta. That's just sad. <laughs> oh no! I only survived for an hour. <laughs> that option makes me very sad. That's very sad. It's borderline inappropriate. Um, help. Oh, restart. Enter. Click anywhere to begin. Okay. Help. Script. Script. Create. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Please specify a valid extension type. How? <laughs> Script extension dot uu dot vl dot osx or jx dot ur dot nc dot vnmr dot lszx dot digu dot vic dot yux dot tsc and dot fake mk. Okay, uh, okay, script create, um. Uh, the only word I can think of to call the script is, is penis. So it's going to be penis.uu. Why doesn't dot work? <laughs> script create uu. Script. Oh, I. Create? Really? Why can't I spell? <laughs> penis.uu. Ugh. <laughs> Screwed to create. You, you. Wife bull dot you, you created. Okay, okay, so it auto generates. <laughs> Hooray, we figured it out. Create a uh, digu. Create, create. I'm really bad at this right now. I cannot brain. Also, it's randomly deleting my C, and that's really annoying. Cure worry dot digu. Okay, we need to help again. Console script contract contract. Let's get contract. Let's contract a disease. Contract list. Uh, girlizens through ozpas does. Why are all these <laughs> really bad? Like fangirls is almost recognizable, but these are all. <laughs> Really poorly. Contract except from. Wait, wait. What's the highest one? Fans. Gers. Accepted contract. Con
contract complete uh, by fans insufficient completed scripts how oh times for vike okay so this is uh, um, so we got to go to script and then we got to go to create then we got to go to vike then we got a script create oh lord have mercy vike then we do script create Vi vike and then we go script <laughs> create vike are you seeing a pattern are you because i'm seeing a pattern and then we do contract complete fans girls Insufficient completed scripts. What? Four times dot vike. <laughs> Didn't we do this? Contract. Contract. Current. Four times dot vike. Isn't that what we did? I'm so confused. <laughs> what? Um, you can click on the bottom tab there quickly. Do acceptable contract, use contracts, accept three, display your current contract, contracts must be added, removed at noon and midnight. After accepting contract, you need to deliver scripts. First, create the right scripts. Contracts will be certain. Okay. Click the incomplete scripts are marked with an asterisk before that. Oh, they're incomplete. So I just have to... Oh... Okay, I get the meta -ness now. All right. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Keyboard mashing at its best, making scripts and not getting rest. I'm so hungry, my kids will die because I've got no money. Crappy crap. Okay, that was the song about game devving. Uh, brought to you by this game. Uh, I hope you liked it. I know it was pretty great. But this is really... <laughs> the sound effects are so bad. It's just so painfully ouchy. Holy crap balls. How many just lines of script are there? Jeezy Pete, I'm never going to complete this contract in the time that it's due. <laughs> oh my god. Help me complete this script in time. I got to feed my children, but they're dying. And oh, there's the end. There's the end. Oh my gosh, this might as well be Carvel Tunnel Sim Simulator. Did I finish it? Linda Oven, thank goodness. Carvel Tunnel Simulator 2018. Bad songs and everything making people sad. Corn markers. Some of this code is actually really funny. Oh my god. <sighs> Your scripts can be used to do anything. You can think about these things. Wild birth draft. Silky knowing heat afford. <laughs> Milan informed. Painful informed. Cause remain. Fonts false. Knights. Dial. Twin. True true. Milton. Shirts. Nick. Knaz. Vampire. Oh my god. What happened? I died of starvation. Mmm. Mmm. I think that's enough for today. This is shotgun mode after all. Overall. I have to give this one a three. Not because I didn't like the concept, but because, oh my gosh, it was very hard to figure out. Very hard to figure out. Uh, meta -ness quality, very meta. Not terribly unique. Gameplay innovation. I think it, could, it left something to be desired, I think. It was, it was moderately fun. Uh... Some of the lines of code are really funny. The audio is really, really painful. Aesthetically, for I mean, it's just a console, so it's not not great. Uh, 
I think you need to rename this carpal tunnel <laughs> syndrome simulator 2018. That was a hell of a lot of keyboard mash. Uh, also, it would be great to get a tutorial <laughs> that I understood. I literally went in and tried to read, and the tutorial was gibberish. I understand. I understand now that you had to type, type, but I think the tutorial should at least tell you that much. I think I was confused for most of the first half of playing this. <laughs> Uh, but when I fig figured it out, it wasn't too bad. Maybe make the status in the right corner bigger. I died so fast. <laughs> Great work. Okay. That was a pretty harsh comment, but man, we are moving on. That was eat sleep code i did not eat or sleep but i did code by j wigs team of one great job moving on to code versus sleep wow i'm seeing a theme today's theme is scarpel tunnel uh <laughs> this is by yergzimb team of one let's go ahead and go in you have a busy life you need to get some coding done solution code at night just make sure you get some sleep too Match shapes to their color, digit, or number of sides to work progress your code. Watch your energy. If it's if you run out, it's snore town for you. You'll have some energy during the day. And the more tired you are, the more shapes will try to disorient you. Okay. You have three days to code your game for the jam. You must leave work at 10 a.m. And won't be able to start coding until 11. That means you must code at night. Match by color, shape, or write the number to... Or number. Phew! To write your code. Be careful. The more tired you are, the more challenging this will get. If your energy bar hits zero, you'll fall asleep. Click to begin. Uh, what do I do? Oh, by number? Okay. So then we do shape. And then we do shape again. Okay. We're doing all right. I like shapes. Shapes are nice. Shapes are pretty great. Wow. Did I complete a... A portion? I know that doesn't match. <laughs> color. 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 Woo! We're doing this. We're doing a hella great job. That doesn't match. That doesn't match. Everything in my life is in shambles. None of this matches. Okay, there we go. Uh that's the same shape. Oh, it's they're they're rotating now, so they don't match as easily. It's rude. How dare you? Color is the easiest one. That's why I choose not to do color, because I don't take the easy route out of things, like leaving nasty comments and just running away with my crappy reviews and ratings. Come on. Give me some match. Oh, that was a double match. I should get double points for that, obviously. Double match, double points. That should be a thing. This isn't so bad, this, this so far. I mean, it's pretty all right. Limited number of shapes, limited number of numbers, limited number of colors, limited number of numbers, limited number of words that I'm going to say repeatedly every every time I play a game today. Um, I like your shirt. I, I wish your shirt was more prominently featured in this, this game. Just saying. Uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty good shirt. Um, there's some threes. Let's get going. I'm a triangle or two, and I'm an eight and a three, and I've got lots of bees in my knees, and that's an eight and a three. Five and five, double points. Wow, you're so good at this game. 
Wow, eight and nine together makes blue and stuff and la dee da. Um, okay. Um, I just, just as a note, like the gameplay loop isn't bad. It's just a little bit boring and it lags just a little bit every time the music cycles through. Um, it'd be nice if there's a little bit more. If it was a little more fast paced, I think it'd be a little nicer overall. Um, I think it'd be really funny and really meta if you had a way to do like a full screen cap and when you got more tired like numbers and shapes would kind of drift off into other spaces than the play space they'd fly out over onto a different monitor or something i know that's a lot more technically difficult but i think it'd be a really cool mechanic you could do um i do see how they're starting to rotate and they're getting a little bit faster and harder to read now that the energy is getting lower but man Um, I think we're going to go ahead and go to bed. You know, because people do need to sleep, eventually. Sleeping until the morning. Going to work at 10 a.m. Can't code until 11. Look at my energy's going down. Oh, that's right. It's going down because we're at work. Hmm, maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we're going to be dangerously low on energy, and we're only halfway done with our game. Holy crap. Oh, they got all, like, they are, I, I know this part of the night when your eyes get bleary and you're like, meh. That's exactly how that feels. Meh. You can't see anything. You can't really function. Can't everything's spinning? Oh lord! It'd be nice if this is a little more rapid fire. Having to wait a lot, but you know it's fine. Can barely see what shape and color these are, which is perfect. This is definitely very difficult. Um. No. Wah. Wah. Let's get. I'm just gonna go until I fall asleep because I think we'll get plenty of sleep tonight since I did literally nothing last night. And it's only one. It's only one a.m. So it's fine. Oh my gosh! It is so hard to see anything right now. It's kind of insanity. This this is this is good mechanic. Like this opacity, man. <laughs> Everything's so opaque. Okay, it's time to go to bed. I can't see freaking Jack. All right, we're gaining some energy back. We're going to we're going to be fine. We're going to get this this done. Actually, I think we're going to be screwed. <laughs> we're going to be screwed. Yes. We always like not being successful at things and then our energy goes back down. Jeez, are we going to get any recovery at all? Are we going to make any progress? This is important to me. Why won't... No! Energy, come back! Can't I buy a coffee or something? I don't personally drink coffee, but I'm, other people do. I swear, that went down exactly to the same point. Family's upset. You fell asleep at your sister's birthday. Well, that's that. So that was that was pretty interesting. Uh, overall, I'm gonna give it about a three. Metaness quality, it's very meta. <laughs> I understand that. Not so much with coding, more so with uh, college. That was my life. Uh, uniqueness, it was pretty all right. Gameplay, I think there was a couple of things that could have been improved. It was much better at low energy. I think you could have had different patterns too. They'd like fly around the screen, and it was nice in this circle at the beginning. But, like, later they could be like, oh, I'm going to wander around and be super opaque at the same time because that would be super annoying. Um, it, was, it, was, it was moderately fun, yeah. I don't think it was too funny. Man, that audio glitch. Every time it would roll over with that night sound, you'd get that moment of lag. And that's, 
that was interesting. Aesthetically, it was all right. Overall, overall, it's a pretty all right game. It seemed really hard to win. I think every time I slept, I lost more energy at work. That's rough, man. But so meta. I think there could have been more engaging mechanics or a faster game system. I don't like to wait too, too much. And it was just a bit slow in spots for me. Overall, overall, good job. All right. Post the comment. We move on. We go to this next one. That was Code versus Sleep by Ergzimb. Next one is The World Ends Without You. Oh, Chosen One, can you save the world? Submitted by Random Phantom. Oh, I remember this guy. He was in my stream the other day. He should have told me this was his game. I would have played it. Uh, I think I do remember a comment about, like, they scoped this way too big, so it's like, sort of unfinished. So, I, I don't know how unfinished it is. Gosh, I gotta create a new folder for day 13. <laughs> Hopefully the last day. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can take. <laughs> Alright, let's go to 13. Unzip this. Secretly, of course, because we don't want anyone to see us unzipping. <laughs> All right, and let's pull this bad boy up. It might be bad for our computer, but we're gonna run it anyway. Made in Unity. Ooh, I like this meta game jam background. Oh yeah! Woo! Woohoo! Yaha! So you, you're the chosen one, eh? That's what they tell me. Prepubescent teenager to save the world? Quite unlikely, but I guess I'll have to do. We will have to do. Head over to the school to the west, although it's out today. It's a little weird that the letters are forming kind of semi-randomly. <laughs> You'll find Professor Z waiting for you to give you instructions on how to proceed. Thanks, bruh. You heard about them saying about the, uh, the world's gonna end? I think it's scientists are misleading though. They and their stupid theories on everything. They say a chosen one will emerge and save the world from its eventual destruction. What do you think? Do you think this world will explode in a spectacular fashion or will it go out like a whimper? Uh yeah, I'm rambling now. I can tell that the spaced outlook on someone that they can't wait for me to stop rambling. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to my inane ramblings. Just wanted to let off some nervousness. <laughs> okay, bye. Whoop. The end of the world is nigh. Be careful of the angels from the sky. What angels? We are all huge error. The great user will come to judge the errors of this world. Huh. Talk to everyone. Hoo-hoo! You look pretty happy, jumping around without a care in the world. So am I. What's there to be afraid of, the end of the world? Right? <laughs> to kill time, I think I'm going to jump on these trees and store billboards. Uh, you can't jump on trees? I've already tried, you dumb idiot. <gasps> what? Ah! Ha! You there? Yes, you. Me? What? Uh, uh, why is there a TV on your head? Ha ha ha! Yes, you are the chosen one. Go forth, young boy, and you'll save this world. Mwah ha 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 ha. Oh boy, there's a lot of weirdos today. There was there was a cat-o. Meow. Okay, bye. Bye, cat-o. 
Hey, who's this guy? Hey, hey, you heard about the latest news, man? Well, I don't quite understand it, but the scientists are saying the world will end soon. Funny, it feels like the world just began. Yes, finally you're here, Chosen One. I we have some theories on how to preserve this world, but we need a fail-safe plan. And that's you. Fail safe? <laughs> okay. The plan. You enter this nifty looking rift and we'll enable us to access this outer world. I will help us better understand this intricacies of the environment that we are in. Um, what's what's the environment you're talking about? Uh, land with the white canvases. It's just a hop, skip, jump, and dock away to the east. Okay, let's go for it. Ha. Hmm. Wait. Wait. What? What? Wait, how? Is this it? I wonder if that might be it. <laughs> this might be it. Walking left and right simulator. 2018. Okay. I'm jumping on some trees and I'm ducking a little bit. <gasps> Hidden content. Duck. Didn't he say east? Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. Good job there. I'm impressed. Although, I guess I underestimated the chosen one. Well, next is the quest for the sacred relic. It can be found in the hills to the west. Probably to the rift in the eastern side. Now to research these white canvases. I am so excited. Uh, uh excuse you? Ooh. Oh, you can maximize and minimize? That's neat. That's pretty meta. Well, this canvas has blocked access to the rift. The sacred relic might hold the key to unlocking this rift. Oh, thanks for your help so far. And my plan is coming together. Thanks, Professor Z. Now back to my research. <laughs> it looks like he's doing yoga. Oh, there's the next level. I like that parallax background. That's pretty great. Oh. It's so hard to jump from tree to tree. They're like so slippery. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Jump. No. No. No? Okay. Hop. Deep. Zoop. Wop. Lip. Yeah. Wop. That's right. We're going to activate that so we can go back. <laughs> got it. I don't remember all the voices I did for these people. So you're the chosen one. What does that even mean? You want to know about the sacred relic? Well, I don't know so much except that some say it's an ancient alien technology as it speeds it can maneuver in the sky or physically impossible. I said all of those words wrong. Researchers have studied it and concluded that it being controlled by externally by some unseen force. Who knows? It may hold the key to saving us from the end of the world? Question mark. Or maybe it would cause the destruction of this world? You know, a Pandora's box of some sorts. And the user, they say the user lives outside. And brings into existence these bubble universes they call programs. Yeah, I'm talking too much again. Your face is blank as these white boxes. I wonder if the sacred relics is the mouse. Like, it'll enable me to use the mouse in the game. Tee -hee. These white boxes that appeared out of nowhere are kind of cool. Makes you want to jump on them. I wonder what the X does. Meow. Uh, the chosen one will be a humble vessel embodying the great user's will. Not this again. 
With the ancient artifact, the Window Slayer, ye will rid the Window Slayer. The world of all corruption. I really hope it's the mouse. And he will seek the canvas to the west. Hey, hey, you're doing great. These windows that appear, you have control over them, chosen one. Oh, remember to get the sacred arrow. That will be your true guide. All right. You've got the touch. You've got the power. Oh, Lord. Jumping off trees. Simulator. It's really rough. Oh, I trapped myself. Great. So chosen one, eh? Big deal. I'm kind of envious. So oh, wonder what it takes to be the chosen one. Maybe it's because you're under some sort of control by the great user, perhaps. If you say so. Woohoo! Um. Whoop! Crouch jump. That's right. Whoop! 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 Back up! Back up! Back up! Wee! I love falling in holes. It's always a good, good time, right? Do, 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 do. Wow! Hey, it is the mouse! Hell yeah! <laughs> Called it! I thought that was it. That was pretty great. That was a welcome... Not surprise, but it was welcome. I do wish I could full screen this game, though. Oh, now you have to use the mouse and jumping and stuff. Wow. What insane mechanics. How did I do this? Okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I am enjoying this. Do I have to jump and then X? Oh, Lord. Can I, I not X while I'm in the air? Okay. Oh, wow. That was delightful. Never had any issues with this game. Never failed at any other kind of platformers in my life. Never had any issues ever. Oof. This is cool. I, I do love Metroidvania style games, so this is right up my alley. Okay, let's go up and hit this X. It's like there's got to be an X up here. Hey, there we go. All right. Yeah, we need to get going, man. This game is it's taking too long. This is shotgun mode. We need to get through this content as fast as possible. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're moving on. Bloom. That's right. Don't care. All right. Hey, Professor Z. We got the relic. We can click buttons now. Hell, yeah. There's some eyes that follow you. I don't like follow me eyes. They're creepy. What if I stand on this tree? Oh, why are there eyes on everything? It gives me a sick sensation in my stomach. That's the technical term. Uh-oh. This is bad. The rift is gone now and replaced by something looking sinister. Maybe our plan isn't working too well. Head over to the west. I think the professor needs your help. No. I like dying. Dying is better, dummy. Alright. I like those graphics of the, the particles flowing away. It's nice. <laughs> these googly eyes are so adorable. <laughs> Maybe these alien overlords aren't so bad after all. 
Awaha ha, you go, chosen one. Go ahead and defeat this alien invasion. Remember, look him squarely in his eyes and you'll see the truth. Whose eyes? Of course, the all-seeing one that's responsible for the googly eyes. Oh, and three strikes and you're out. Well, what's that weirdo talking about again? The all-seeing eyes. They are forever judging. The great user sees without being seen. All our flaws are barren before him. He will judge with a fair hand, assigning the multitude of stars to the deserving. Repent of the errors of your ways before it is too late. Dude. Too soon. Too soon. Bloop. Ah. Uh. Want to hear my theory on these eyes that sprouted up on my house? They aren't actually aliens. They are surveillance equipment. We are all destined for an Orwellian future. That would be truly the end of the free world. Every move being recorded, processed, and evaluated in some supercomputer? Or uh, maybe the aliens are gathering intel, intending to explore our weaknesses? Uh, if so, there's really nothing much they can get on me. Just a regular boring dude. I recognize the glazed look when I saw it. I'm rambling again, aren't I? Always, bro. Man, these creepy eyes. I hate him. He's fr it's French now, apparently. It's like there's always someone watching our every move. Very bad French accent guy. Guess that's how having a user around feels like. I don't, I don't like the googly eyes. The googly eyes are really gross. They are disgusting. I feel like West and East are backwards in this game. <laughs> this is very interesting indeed. Wait, what voice did I have for the professor? I don't remember. Oh, yes. That's what... Now I'll just st study the replicating patterns. Maybe you will have a shot at living beyond this environment. Okay, well, let's go. Hey, that hats! Why did you touch me? You look pretty suspicious. Are you the one putting googly eyes on everything in this town? Oh, me? I come from the net, infecting systems, people, and cities to this place. For f my format, your regular spyware, tracking your every move. Boring, I know. Someone's invited me to this system. Is it you? You don't seem the friendly sort. Uh, I see you've brought Mr. Cursor along with you. Along I? Coming to destroy my existence? I guess I'll have to teach you a lesson! Check out this trick. Ah, you won't be able to. Oh my lord. How'd you get me? Well, that must have been a pure luck. No matter. Look out. Here's another cool trick. Oh, what? I got him. No. Whoa. What? What? Oh, it's his eyes. Ha ha! Makes sense. How'd you get me? Must have been pure luck. Yes, it's because all your eyes follow you. Yeah. That's actually pretty neat. Pretty nice mechanic. What's happening? Oh man, that's, that's rough. Got him. How'd you get me? Well, that must have been pure luck. No, it wasn't. No matter. Got him! No! How could you tell? I thought that was pretty neat. 
One last trick. Watch the ground. Got him. We're good about a peaceful coexistence, you and me. Do you know how it is like to kill an existence that was carefully crafted? Curse you and your cursors, destroying worlds without an afterthought. A fatal exception has occurred at 0xCFF58AC20. Terminate the current application. It is all my fault. These programs they call vi viruses. I thought the self-replicating properties would help our world evolve beyond this environment. Oh, it's a meta game jam in the background. That's adorable. In the instrumentality project, I had imagined uh, to attract them to this world, but little did I n know. Their code was corrupted the world, and now we are forever doomed in this state of limbo. I guess that's what a mad scientist is good for. Consequences be damned. <laughs> That's what I want to be when I grow up. Mad scientist. So I guess this world ends with a whimper. Our time has come, huh? It's pretty interesting to think. Uh, if we're living in a simulation, what's out there? What's out there when you turn off the screen? Is there a whole new world? To think, there might be more dimensions than two dimensions. Like, whoa. It's hard to visualize it. I guess the world ending forces one to think about their existence and how meaningless it all seems. <laughs> but maybe there's some greater purpose that we are just scratching the surface on. Well, thanks for listening to my philosophical meanderings and the end of the world does that to you. Yeah, you're having an existential crisis. Imagine that. It's the end of the world. We are doomed. The judges will pour their wrath and fury upon us. All will be exposed. Our flaws, our weaknesses, our bugs. Only the great pantheon of users can save us this time. Would you? Sky's looking so funky today. Ah, uh, that's what's with the floating words in the sky. It's a really cool end of the world. Ha! <laughs> Now, how do I get down from here? Meow! What's going on? So, we are living in some sort of situation. It seems we have run out of time. I hoped that this would have lasted longer, but I guess things have eventually end. Well, it's been nice knowing you, user files. You, not you, I'm asking the great user. You're not referring to me this time. The creator of this world made this world in 14 days. Yes, he was a particularly inept maker. That's how I felt, trust me. <laughs> but you can save it. Yes, you, you and many other users hold the power to judge whether our world is worthy for extension. What will you do? Well, see you in the next version. Woohoo. Jumped off. Oh, I bet I can do this. Ooh, snap son. Oh, yay. Googly eyes is still there. Hmm. The instrumentality project didn't turn out as hoped. Pray. Well, I guess in science, stuff fails. That's all what we can turn to. Ah, 
Will praying give us more time on this world? Doubt it. But I guess there's no other choice. Oh well. It was nice knowing you, Chosen One. I am the user. He's going to be closing everything down, like how he closed those window things. It's so strange. The mere thought that your existence is like a puff or vapor that can be extinguished more existential crises just by the press of a button. So I guess I should go talk to Googly Eye Man, aka Spyware. Hi, Spyware. Oh, can I not get up to him? I can't get to Spyware. I wanted to talk to him. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I is there a challenge mode? Like, am I actually? Oh, frick! I think I'm actually supposed to jump on all this. But jumping is kind of it's kind of hard. Wow. Do I just need to, like, jump first and move later? That appears to be the correct solution. Really? Oh, so close to actually making it all the way to the end. I don't know if there's anything to, to do, but it seems right. There's only way to get, one way to get up here, as far as I can tell. Oh. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Jumping on trees for no freaking reason. No, no, I gotta get over there though. That That is legit going over there for real reasons this time. So, we could skip all the first part though. Meow. Freaking pointy trees. Pointy trees are so obnoxious. <laughs> I don't like them. I think the jumping mechanic is just a little bit unresponsive in spots. Like, I should be grounded. I should be able to jump. And then I just don't jump good. Pointy trees are just, just difficult. Wow, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Alright. Come on. We can do this. We need to see the true ending. The ending where we destroy everything. That's my favorite. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Freaking that pointy tree is going to be the death of me. I am. I'm naming him Bartholomew the pointy tree, and I do not like him. Freaking Bartholomew. <laughs> Why you got to be like this? I'm, I'm so annoyed by your life. Oh my god. Come on. Let's why i i know i could get over there there's another tree over there too like it's totally a thing why'd you have to make this platforming so hard so hard come on man freaking hell <laughs> oh Come on, let's get get let's get 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 All right. Oh my God! <laughs> it's gonna get silent here. We're gonna do a speed up through this section. Oh my! What? I was... Oh. He's not jumping like he should jump. Physical pain. I'm in physical pain. This is a song about the physical pain that I'm feeling right now. Ow, ow, ow. This makes me hurt. Oh my god. I do not like this jump. 
Is there nothing over there? Am I doing this whole thing for no reason? I'm so mad. So mad. There should have been something over here. I got on the freaking house. It's so hard. I mean, this could be the ending, I suppose, but I just thought there'd be more. So, if there's nothing over here, oh, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Negative a thousand stars. Bad mechanics. Bad characters. Bad everything. Bad graphics. Bad system. Bad gameplay. Bad every freaking object in the world. Bad sprites. Bad metagame jam. Bad life. Bad. 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 I mean, this the scrolling metagame jam background does end. I don't see anything. Bummer! Okay, well, we'll just end it there and we'll give it a negative thousand star review because there's nothing over there anymore. Terrible. Terrible. Um, I am so mad. Why was there oh my god so mad i can't hide nothing to the left of that or the right of that stuff at the end i jumped so hard why overall uh really well done would definitely play more in the future Great work. So dumb. So dumb. So dumb. Overall, one, 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 one. Say bam. That's what you get. No, I'm just kidding. You can update your ratings. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Thug life. Okay. Overall, I'd give it a four. Pretty good. Metaness quality is good. Uniqueness of experience is really cool. Gameplay innovation is very, very innovative. I really liked that idea, and I knew I was going to get the mouse, but I was so excited when it happened. I wish I could full screen. Uh, fun. It was pretty fun. Pretty funny. Audio is all right. Aesthetically good. Okay, good work on this one. That was The World Ends Without You by Random Phantom. I bummed I couldn't play for this for you while you were on the stream the other day. But, such is life. All right. Quick Time Boy by Max Warsink. Let's move on to this game. Let's do this. Uh, mash those buttons. Quick Time buttons. Reset next. Uh, up. Up. Ooh, that's cool. Up. Up. Hell yeah. Wait. Uh, I lost. Okay. I'm sad there's no sound. This would be pretty neat with some sound effects. What? I can't figure out how to get over the first jump. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Here we go. Wah! 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 <laughs> Am I just supposed to hold it down? I don't understand what's going on. Why is this so hard? Wah! Hookow! Hoopla! Hoopla! Am I just supposed to press it a lot? Oh, I drowned the first time, so maybe I'm just confused because I am dumb. Which is very likely. Watch out, bing bong. Oh hell yeah. I just get off the high of finally making over that jump. And you killed me? You know what this reminds me of? Is that one game that I can't remember the title of. Oh, you lose if you make any incorrect things. Okay. Um Oh, it was the the precursor to uh Hell yeah. Oh god. No, 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 no. 
Oh, wow. Okay. I want to kill that thing for beating me up so many times. This is a precursor to, like, heavy rain. Wah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Hell, yeah. Um, it's, like, project something or other. Oh, oh, God. Oh, okay. I forget, but it reminds me of that because it reminds me of the very beginning of that game when you're giving you like the tutorial and he's like, "From you see what happens when you don't have good refluxes? And I always thought that was really funny. This is what happens when you don't have good refluxes. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what happens. <gasps> mm. I didn't expect him to start grabbing the thing so far away from the thing. Uh, I hope there's only one level because having to restart this every time is pretty rough. Woo! Bah! See what happens when you don't have good refluxes? I pressed the wrong button. I'm glad I didn't lose there. When you don't have good refluxes. Bow! Wapow! Jow! Waka! Waka! Chicka bop! Black! Okay. Wak! Chicka! Monarch Chickabs! Oh god. Uh. What the frig is that? Is that a boss? Chico, badam, badow, bagow, baju, balau, hoop, harap, zaboom, walk out. Got him. Woo. Are you kidding me? Why can't I jump up this wall? This is a disappointment. How do I? Oh my god. No. Why can't I jump higher? Oh, my lady friend, I'm coming. Chosen one, I'm coming. This is so frustrating, I just wanna I wanna make it up to my lady friend. Why can't I jump higher? Frick. Oh my gosh. No. I can't get any higher. My arm is falling off. I can't press this button any faster. Come on. Lady friend. Oh my gosh. I have to R to reset. Well. <laughs> Bummer. I, I'm, I'm guessing that was the whole thing. Uh... Uh, let's see. Man, this game is hard. It's actually really clever. Yeah, I, I liked it. I liked the idea. There was one person who made this. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I just... <laughs> that jumping mechanic at the end. That lady friend was right there. How could you do this to me? Overall, I'll give it a three. Because it sort of feels a little unfinished. In spots, it could use a little more polish. I know it's it's rough as a single dev to get stuff done sometimes, but I think you could have afforded it. Metaness quality. Um, I don't know if it was too meta. Let me let me look at it. Quick time events as a core mechanic in a general platform, generic platform. I don't know if I get it. I don't I don't know if I get it that much. 
Is this like a combination of things? Yeah, I see that. I see it. I'll I'll give you one more star because I, I, I get it now. Um, I liked it though. I mean, I like the combination. Gameplay innovation. I'll give you an extra star for that. Fun. I think it could use just a little more polish. It'd be a lot more fun. Humor. Wasn't a whole lot of humor. There's no audio. Aesthetically, it was pretty good. So we'll go ahead and give it that. Uh, I liked... I like this concept a lot. I made it to the boss and killed him, but got stuck and couldn't make it to the lady friend. Bit of a bummer. Uh, really neat. Okay, that was Doo -doo -doo, Quick Time Boy by Max Warsink. So, we'll move on from that. We're going to go on to dun -dun -dun -dun, Super Loot Bros. Recruit your troops, face the world full of monsters and treasure by Igor Dorachev. Is he the one? He did two games? I think he did two games. That's why this one looked familiar. I swear. Um, let's let's take a look at this. Igor. Yeah, he did Fruit Thieves too. He put he did two games for this jam. That's that's pretty crazy. Although I mean they've got a lot of similar assets. Probably gonna have the similar uh, reviews and notes for me. X to start. Select your troop and place it on the map. A warrior. Click a free tile to place. Start. Click on any troop to select his action. Each action costs turns. Try to move the troop. Wait. Move? You can move onto an enemy to hit it. Too far. Not enough turns. Um, three turns, huh? Move your mouse away. Stop touching me. Ah, Rip. That's adorable. I love it. You won. Two enemies killed. World 2 unlocked. Press X for tutorial. Start. Hmm. Real time... I, I don't know what type of game this is actually. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to categorize it. Probably as Pokeball's Canon or something like that. We're gonna. What is that? We're gonna hit it again. Ow! It did some damage to me. I wish this floating text wasn't so close to the only area of the game that I have control over. It makes it really hard to see what's going on. That's okay. I'll forgive you this time. I wonder if my troop's gonna die. Hey, I did it! Mage class unlocked. I can't buy mages. I don't have any money. Oh no. Do 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 do. It's got nice sound effects. I like that for sure. I don't know why I can't just move three. Oh, it's like it's the tower from from your other game. Probably gonna die. Plus 22 coins. Hey, I got some coins. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know how much life I have. Oops, I did not mean. I meant to attack. Hmm. Whew. I don't know how much longer I'm going. Not enough turns. What? I was just. I can't move diagonal. I don't understand the world that I live in. That was too much. Try again. Okay. I get this. I get this. And I have a feeling it's going to be of similar quality to your other <laughs> And in the essence of finally getting through all these entries, I'm going to go ahead and give it a rating. This is this is really cool. <laughs> I like it. Testing. Two, two, three, one. I'm... 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 
I might send this to Xavier. Hey, hey man, I've seen this testing two, two, three account on a couple of people's things. A couple of people's meta game chat just posts numbers. I don't know. Seems weird. Who plus this? Not me. Okay, I sent that to Xavier because that seems <laughs> really strange to me. I don't know why that's that's there. Okay. Um, well, once you win first, the game is not over. Try a few more times. Okay. Try to punch characters with your mouse. They say strange things sometimes. Uh, so, overall, for Metanus quality, I mean, they said some funny things. It's not super unique. Gameplay innovation is... It's, it's all right. It's all right. Fun. Be pretty fun. I know I could sink some, some time into this for sure. I did the other game and it was super fun. The humor of what they say is pretty funny. Audio is appropriate. Aesthetics looking good. Looking good. Really good game overall. Yeah, nothing. All assets were made the, the jam time. Three days actually. We made like two games in three days. All right, that's fine. No big deal. We made one gay in 14 days, so. One gay in 14 days. That's how you make a gay. All right. Another neat title. I think it's cool you managed to create two games for this uh, jam. Uh, I have to say this is not my style of game. I liked the tower defense better. Much faster pace. Paced. Uh, good work on this, though. All right. We're going to post that comment. We're going to go ahead and move on. That was Super Loot Bros by Igor Dorichev. So, next we have Amazeballs, dudes. <laughs> Are you Amazeball enough, dude, to save the president from ISIS ninjas? Oh, wow. This hit me right in the um, meta. Like, I am having heart palpitations now. This is by Pigmeat, and he, there's a team of two. So, let's go ahead and give this a, a, a look-see. It looks like a parody of uh, Double Dragon. One player. Oh, you can do two player? That's cool. I only have one one player. The president has been kidnapped. Is that Duke Nukem? <laughs> By ISIS ninjas. Are you amazeballs dude enough to rescue the president? Are you sure? It's been nice and quiet around here since he's been gone. <laughs> Ooh, sick burn. I've taken up knitting, but yeah, guys, guys can knit too, bud. Welcome to the 21st century. Oh, I can. Okay. All right, we're doing this. Yeah, it's like Streets of Rage or double dragon or battle toads <laughs> whoa get out of here uh-uh don't punch me and just walk away actually you might i'm not very good at this game button mash button mash button mash i can apparently hit people from behind that was weird i need some health drop me some soda soda's health why is soda health in video games soda's so bad for you okay it literally causes gluten Soda causes gluten. Everybody knows this. this. is a very common fact. And if you don't believe it, then you're the cause of global warming, which is also a government lie. Like, I just don't know what's wrong with you. 
which is totally relevant to this game because you can see the sky is purple that's called uh toxic smog and it is is bad news for the environment and we are all worse off for it existing can you punch the right direction please hell yeah is the high score really like uh 963 billion 687 1,102 because that's a lot and I don't know if I can believe that I'm gonna knock off your hat that's right oh I'm gonna knock off your hat and I'm gonna knock off your hat you're not even wearing a hat I'm gonna knock it off oh owie 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 oh green guys owie owie green guy that hat green guy and it's still well it's not hurting anymore but it could still be hurting. I like how polite they are. They just wait for their friends to finish. They're like, oh, you're you're attacking? Don't worry, I'll give you a sec to get beat up. And then I'll just, I'll wait. Unless it's from behind. You wanna save the president, huh? Well, the Hillary for president ninjas have a problem with that. Oh my gosh. You can't just throw knives. No. Uh-uh. That's rude. How do I jump again? Oh, let's see. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna lose. How could I lose to a Hillary for President Ninja? Oh my god. Freaking snowflakes gonna beat me? Jeez, wow. <laughs> Stage one clear. Oh, there's some more stages? Dang. Your game's too long. Zero stars. Just kidding. Oh. No, why? This, that was a boss before. You can't just... You can't just put in bosses and expect me to be okay with it. Okay. I think the president's probably gonna stay kidnapped forever. Oh, good. That one disappeared. Oh, is that an extra life? Hey, nice. Uh, is it is is it battle toads? Am I getting battle toads for extra life? Because that's pretty amazing. If so, I love it. A burger, the burger. Nice. We are full life. Uh, I'm getting carpal tunnel from all the games tonight. Terrible. All right. At least I'm getting enough health to sort of remain healthy. I just want to one-shot this so I don't ever have to come back. <laughs> I wish I had a second person to join. That'd be pretty cool. Wow, I cannot dodge knives to save my life. Like, literally. They are the worst. Someone's gonna come in with a worse mechanic as the loss of this, aren't they? Give me your sodas and junk foods. They are very healing to my body and I love them. I finally dodged a knife, but I still died. How awkward is this? Wow, wow, wow. Hillary for President Ninjas need to freaking stop. I'm getting sick of them. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, I dodged one. Hell yeah. This is beautiful. I have never, never felt so happy in my life. It's actually very satisfying to dodge. <gasps> Yay, I had some vulnerability. Nice. Purple guys. Purple guys are my favorite because they go down so easily. Hell yeah. Streets of Battle Toad. Double Dragon. St streets of Double Toad. Making a cheap parody game of bad dudes and not even giving old Ron a call? I was the star of that game. Well, I'm back anyway, and I got an upgrade. Ron Bot, go! Uh, how do I deal with this? I can't get around him.
That was a bummer. I couldn't get around him. I had health. I was so excited. I know. Yes, I know. I'm doing the best I can. Okay. Ooh, a question mark box. Gra, gra, cra. Crab, grab. Uh, continue. A button. No, the other one. Oh. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh, I'm glad there's continues. I'd be very sad if I had to do all this again. But it would be very meta because that's how literally all games were back in the day. When I first stopped playing games, we didn't have save states. We didn't have places we could go to save our game, and we had to play them all over. And we left our Sega Genesis on for literally like 12 hours one day, and it overheated, even though we were trying to beat Sonic 3D freaking Blast. And we got all the Chaos Emeralds, and we got to the last boss, and you know what? It died during the last boss! <laughs> How could it? That was so rude. Ow. I don't know if anyone else has had this issue, but I had it, and it was not cool. Grab them by what the frick? Grab them by the. <gasps> oh my God, no! <laughs> No, not this. This is too meta. I can't handle this. Oh, no, no, no. No, you can't do this to me. Wow, this is this is rough. No. No, this is the worst. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, how could you do this? Too soon, man. Too soon. <gasps> That's inappropriate. Oh, wait. It was a thing said by a president, so it's fine. Must be okay. Oh, I don't have to jump? Do I not have to jump? I don't get it. All right. Frick. Bye, cruel world. Finally, some healing items. Too bad I don't need them anymore. Oh no, my healing item went away. Oh crap, you die. Dang. Well, don't jump off the trucks, so you die. Hard, hard life facts by this game. Don't jump off, jump off trucks, because it, it probably will kill you. Great. Great to know. Thanks, Hillary, for President Ninjas. I like how the, the main protagonist looks like vaguely like a young Trump. Wow. What? I'm getting destroyed, wrecked. Like, destroy wrecked. Like, crazy bad. This is like all, it looks pretty fancy, but it's all just one screen, just scrolling slightly. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I don't like the, the pink ones. I don't like the pink ones. I don't like the pink ones. Because they're feminine. Just kidding. Just kidding. This game is rubbed off on me. Can I please get to the end of this very long train of trucks? Jeez, dude. Dude, bro. Dude. Come on, dude. You got it, dude. Mmm, 
punching stuff on top of a truck simulator 2018 with a slow moving parallaxing background that repeats indefinitely is such a good game fill me with sweet sugary goodness thank you and she hit me with a knife friggin hillary oh my god crooked hillary always hitting people with knives like this is mm, geez come on oh my god snowflakes everywhere geez like i can't get away from them take this take this capitalistic america have oh you want to save the president huh well ain't that ain't paying for no st st steam king oh, wall ninjas ain't having what ain't paying for no st stinking wall ninjas ain't having that oh okay, okay come on come on I dodged a knife on accident. Yes! Mm. Mm. Got him. Yes! Stage four clear. Oh my gosh, there's so many freaking stages. I like the Tetris box though. So many stages. If this is not the last stage, I'm giving up now. Hey, a burger. Nice. They both jump away from you. This is news. No, I want to go back down. Oh. Oof. It's actually getting really hard to see because of this background. <laughs> this background's a little bit too loud for my taste. I mean, I do I do like the Tetris theme. Like that's that's pretty cool, but it's just hard to see what's going on. Limited color palettes, you know. Limited. I don't, I can't jump or he does stuff. Like, come on, bro. I just assume all the pink ones are female ninjas because I'm sexist. It's sad. I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be better. It's, it's a little hard to pick up these uh, um, health pickups. Like, I feel like you have to be like directly on them or you're done. Can we just walk over the whole level? No, you're not supposed to spawn up here. Don't spawn up here. I'm dead. Oh, I like how it told me to press the other one the first time, but not this time, because I pressed the right button the first time. Oh, God. The guys with hats are dumb. I'm going to lose all my lives right away. Got to be bad at this game. Oh, my gosh. Please be polite and wait for your friends to die before coming to face me. Thank you. Stop. I'm dead. I always die. So many times have I died. 
Why can't it turn around? Man, that is annoying. Not being able to turn around when you want to. Ooh, that is rough. That is hella rough. Come on. Oh God, oh God, they do so much damage. I need a burger. I need an Insta burger. Well, I got an extra life and then I died. So I guess it's sort of like getting a burger, right? I can't hit anything. It's too hard. Frick. We're gonna have to do this again. <laughs> oh, what, what? Oh, I accidentally made player two a thing. Shoot. How do I attack with player two? I did not mean to do this. Oh, I got an extra life though. How do I attack with player two? Q, so I need to be pressing these buttons and these buttons together. No. Nope. Well, I didn't mean for this to happen, but. I guess it, it'll buy me some time. Oh God, this is too hard. This is too meta for me. I can't handle this. Oh, I'm getting so many more extra lives now. It's pretty nice. Oh, Hillary for president ninjas. Get out of here, come on. I'm trying to control two people right now and it's not easy to brain the brain to do that. Oh, come on, come on. I'm just gonna kill us both. It's got so much harder. <laughs> come on. We're fine, we're fine. This is really hard to control. Give me an extra life, quickly. I didn't get hit by the knife for once and I get punched right in the face. I'm dead. Bummer. Game over. Well, that was pretty cool. That was just a, a clone of, or a, like a parody of a couple of things. I got like three minutes to put this together. This in so I don't have time for this. <laughs> That's funny. Overall, pretty good, pretty good, pretty meta, because the the parody aspect. I mean, it was just sort of a parody. There were at least one more level after that one, which is, geez, man, I'm never gonna get through that. I'm too bad at that. Gameplay innovation it wasn't super innovative. It was fun. It was kind of funny. The audio was fine. Aesthetically good. Save that rating. Let's get going. Hey, man. <laughs> I know, enter player two. I was, I did not mean for that to happen and then I got game over, like, wow. That player two used all of my continues, all of my lives, all of my brain power. Wasn't a good idea, shouldn't have done it. Hey man, you did great work on this. Great job. Uh, I think turning from side to side was really rough in spots. But other than that, great mechanics and humor. Good work. Goosewa. Goosewa. Okay. Goosewa. All right, next, that was Amazeball Dudes. First of all, Amazeballs Dudes by Pigmeat. Made with two people, team of two, submitted 
two minutes and four seconds before the deadline. Great work. You're not disqualified. And we'll move on. Next is visit Save Your PC by Raise in 97 One man team going deeper into hardware. I like the little guy with the chain gun. It's pretty great. Uh, pretty great. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's full screen this. Ooh. Delightful. Controls. Wazda. Left mouse and escape. Okay. What? What? Oh, looks like your PC has crashed. Just the work of those malware. They have captured your PC components. Now go on a journey to rescue your hardware. It will be a long journey. A journey where your PC comes alive. Collect two sticks of RAM and one C CPU. <gasps> no. No. Well, enemies appear to be optional, so I might just skip on right past them. See if I can get through this game. Shoot the bar to make them break. Shoot the bar to make them break. Ooh. CPU. Why can't I just fly over the top of this? That would, whoa, almost died. Almost died. Wait, what? Oh, those bars. Okay. Look, a ram. Got it. Frick. Alright. Alright. I really like all the hand-drawn stuff that you have stuffed into this game. Get it? Get it what I did there? Ha. Ah. Ha ah. ha! I'm so funny. Huh. Let's go get a CPU. While avoiding saws. Okay, wait, what? How do I get up? Okay. You missed the final piece of your hardware. Without him, you only played. He needs to be found. Go to the Crystal Mountain and seek his soul. He has to be in the Crypto Mines. Oh no, the GPU! He's in the Crypto Mines! We've got to help him! <laughs> oh, wow. That's right, we're going to jump over these enemies. Oh, no, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll, well, maybe we'll kill him. Okay, where where is he? Oh, he's down here. Mm. Okay, we're going. These... Little creatures you got going on here are, are quite pretty. I like them. We're just gonna keep diving, dive, dive, dive. Get back to the surface. How? I can vacuum up the sides. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Can I vacuum up the top too? No, no, no I can't. No, I can't. Oh, wall jump, wall jump. We're fine, we're fine. We've got plenty of lives, I think. I think we're all right. We're getting back to the surface. Thank you for saving me. Those miners can finally run the latest games. Game over. Awesome. That was sweet. Short, simple, sweet. I am digging that. All right. Overall, we're gonna give the a th hmm. We're gonna give it overall a three because there's a couple of little things that I would have liked to seen a little clearer. I'm I'm a fan of good feedback. Menace quality. I loved it. The crypto mines. All the GPUs are in the crypto mines. I'm glad the prices finally started dropping again. It's insane. Uh, uniqueness of Menace. Pretty good. Gameplay innovation. It wasn't super innovative. It just just movement and shooting, which is fine. Fun. Definitely had fun. Definitely kind of funny. Audio was all right. Could use some improvement. Aesthetically, it was pretty nice. I do like hand-drawn stuff. Like you obviously put a lot of effort into that, so that's pretty sweet. Um, uh, I dug this. 
I dug this. I really enjoyed uh, the quick experience offered. Um, I loved the crypto mines. It's too real. <laughs> uh, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I. Too real. I think I would have liked more clear uh, walls versus breakables versus um, obstacles. Uh, they all kind of blended together uh, due to the art style, which isn't bad. It just took a, oh my god, took a minute. <laughs> I can't type to figure out for me. Oh lord. Out for me. <laughs> Nobody watching, I'm sucking. Took a, it took a minute for me to figure out. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I also didn't get the wall jump mechanics were a thing until later. I, it, it would have been helpful knowledge. Helpful knowledge. Great work overall. Great work. Okay. Bam. That was Save Your PC Going Deeper Into Hardware by Raisin97. Last six games. This is the last six of the metagame jam that I have to review until I've done all of them. <laughs> Over 110 games reviewed so far. This one is called Don't Break Your Screen and is by Wolf's Game Lab. Team of One. Run game. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Wolf's Game Lab. Made with Unity. Mic bump, mic bump. Easy. Go. Ball got stuck. Phrasing. Wait, do I have to like click it when it turns red? Oh, uh, <laughs> I see. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that. It's incredibly difficult to get it go where you want it to go, but can I click anywhere? Or does it have to be near the ball? It has to be near the ball. Okay. Well, I'm breaking my screen, which means I'm doing a crappy job of achieving the goals of this game. Ooh, are we gonna hit a? Th are we gonna hit a block? No. That would have been too. Oh, yes! Oh, the blocks have physics. <gasps> get them all! Get them all! Mm, so close. So close. Oh wait. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. So close. So close. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! No. I'm gonna go ahead and launch that ball back because I really wanna. Oh, I should I should abuse that. I'm totally gonna abuse that if I can later. <laughs> if it ever gets in front of a block, I need a break. Ooh. Is that it? Yes. You needed 129 to finish level one. Ready to for next level? Go. We need to abuse the mechanics. Oh, what? I didn't break it. I didn't do that. That was Blagna and Chips. Wow. Okay. Wow. Hell yeah. Okay. I do like how you put the ball got stuck button in there. That's really nice. Um, getting stuck in infinite game loops and and all of that is, is not fun. It's never fun to get stuck soft locked into a place so I'm glad you have some sort of uh, if you couldn't get it in there scripturally you might as well get it in there anyhowly I use good words don't worry about it 
Oh, I broke my screen. I like all your high resolution cracks. They're so great. I like your laptop. It's pretty, um, I'm envious of it. Haha. <laughs> Ready for next level go. Oh, there's so many nice colors. This game is definitely very visually appealing. There we go. That's right. I like how the ball passes through the blocks. That makes it very nice. But, I mean, if you wanted it to bounce off the blocks, that'd be fine, too. Get them all. Yeah, that's great. Oh, wait, watch this. Hey, hey look at that. Level four. The Gleaning Tower of Red on Top Blocks. Oh, can you just clear that whole thing? That would be excellent. <gasps> Ooh, get it. Get it. Two. One. Hey, I did it. <laughs> you just got a bunch of levels in here, too. And that's, that's pretty sweet. I like how you can just send it straight over to the back of the wall. All right. I think, I think I'll be done with that one for now. Mic bump. Uh, that was cool. I like how it tries to break the fourth wall, literally. Like, that's... <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Overall, I'm gonna give it a four. Metaness quality is good. I like the literally breaking the fourth wall. That's pretty fantastic. Unique. Very unique. Gameplay innovation. I mean, it was just breakout, so... With physics. It's not super innovative. Um, plus, yeah, you had that... Um, I mean, it was in 3D space, so you had to have something to keep the ball going, so you had that button. I think you could probably fix that somehow with some interesting, you know, fixes, but I don't, I don't know how. Pretty fun. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny, but it wasn't super funny. Audio was appropriate for the game. Aesthetically, I love the shi bright, shiny colors. Mic bump, mic bump. Uh, great job on this. I really liked the... Uh, ability to bounce the ball uh, with a button a button a button it's nice to have a way to reset the gameplay loop I did however abuse it pretty heavily <laughs> Ray, Great work. Alright. That was Don't Break Your Screen by Wolf's Game Lab. We're going to move on to Destiny by Mini Bobo. Uh, this is a team of one. Looks to be a platformer of some kind with some text. You fate to overthrow your evil twin brother trademark. Decide the fate of the universe. A little bit loud. Woo, we're going to turn that down for the stream a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down on my headset a little bit. That is that is pretty feisty right there. <laughs> An ancient prophecy states, the sun and the moon forever joined in a line between them. The sun shines bright, forever light. The moon is dark and wrong. Through all of the dragons, deadly beasts, and demons reigns, all of the darkness shines the sun, the light of evil's bane. The one who descends is the line between them, the twilight for the dawn shall take the blade in the name of light where weakness is also wrong for the enemy is mike bump my bump my bump mike bump mike bump mike bump for the enemy is dark of light as the enemy is flesh of steel for the sun shall rise on blade of high and force the dark to kneel scholars agree are uh, scholars argue that the prophecy speaks of twins one good and one evil who will fight to determine the fate of the world Time for the prophecy. I'm really bad at reading. The time for the prophecy has been fulfilled. Has the time for the prophecy to be fulfilled has arrived. A man known only as the evil one has attacked the world of men from the west, and nobody can stop him, except for his twin brother. Enter me. Surprise to start. Skip to ending cutscene to see why this game is in the meta jam. Press P. You can literally skip everything. <laughs> Use the arrow keys or WASD to move. 
Please stop. Oh my god. Jump with L or X key. Hold the button to jump higher. All right. Wait, wait, what? Z or K? Wow, I am breakable. Sneaking up on enemies does double damage. Snake up. Oh, hell yeah. We're on the next level. Excuse you? I can't kill that? I have a sword. All it's got is a metal face. Like a stupid metal face, too. I love the jump sounds. Weep. Oh, I gotta go hit that crystal. Dang. Whew. Is it just gonna follow me forever? I don't like that. <gasps> Holy ball sack, Batman. I am dead. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, yeah. We doing this. Next level. Oh, well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Run straight into the lava. That's great. Everybody loves lava. And there we go. Sword could destroy enemy attacks. Oh, can it? Well, not if you don't press the button. Not if you don't press the button, it won't. There's a lot of enemies up here. Holy crap. If I draw them out like one at a time, that'd be great. Holy crap, this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna have to be really slow and careful and methodical. Sounds awful. Wow. Um, the falling mechanic in this is a little bit pretty slow like no it feels like he could fall a little faster and it wouldn't hurt anything no I got oh I did such a good run dang man Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Nice. Oh, come on. It's so hard to escape from those enemies. They're so scary. I don't like it. That's okay. A little bit of difficulty never hurt anybody. Oh, you can't, like, attack them. Because you don't attack fast enough to actually hit them and then destroy their attack right after. That was rude. <laughs> Come on, we got games to play. We gotta get through this crap. Only five left. T minus five remaining. Alright. Really? Really? Can you be facing away when I get up there? That'd be great. Okay, well, you, currently you can move out of the way of their attacks. It's very difficult. I would, I would classify this as moderately difficult. I do like the music. I do like the sound effects. 
I like the little character guy. Oh, I don't like dying repeatedly. <laughs> I just gotta take my time. I just don't wanna. I wanna get through it fast. Ah. Come on. Come on. That's right. I broke it. I saw the effect in everything. That was not cool. Wow. This is gonna be a lot of me dying repeatedly. There's a dead. There's a dead. <gasps> we got lucky, hell yeah. Can we just wait for him to turn around? Cause I don't want to fight him. Oh, there's a, there's a, a wiggle, wiggly guy up there. And I jumped into the pool of death. Attack me, wiggly guy. Wow. Come on, wiggly guy. Oh, what? That sucked. No, no, not cool. He turned around right when I was going. Mmm, that's not nice. Oh, really? A shooty guy? Okay. I do wish I could attack just a little bit faster. Just a tiny, tiny bit faster. And like, he didn't attack at all there when I pressed the button. It's just a little bit... It's just a little bit not what I was hoping for. I guess I could try to dump them all into the gross liquid, but... Okay, that, that was lucky. I don't want this blue thing to kill me. Where is it? Oh, that's, that's worrisome. <gasps> no, I pressed the button! Frick! These blue guys. There's so much stuff going on. Really? Why did he turn around then? <laughs> we got this. Oh, I can't believe I got him, actually. Dang, man. <gasps> can't believe I reacted well enough to that. Oh, he can shoot in different directions. That's not great. No, a shooty thing. There's a lot going on in this level, I'll tell you what. Dang, man. Just a tiny bit faster on the attacks and I can make this so much easier. So much easier. We got the speed strats now, though. And we missed. What if I just run past them all and just aggro them into the lava? Just murder them. Murder them to death. Wow. You can't... I think it's weird that you can't swing your sword while moving, but you can swing your sword while you're jumping and moving at the same time. So that's... a little bit strange, I guess. Dang, that guy's annoying. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make it through this map eventually, someday. Come on, jump up, what out. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. That sucks. Man, it's so hard to hit these guys, too. Dang, man. 
Dang. Dang. Miss Vanjie. pretty punishing. This is a pretty punishing game. And I feel like it's not punishing necessarily because the mechanics are incredibly difficult or anything's too overly tuned. I think it's just the uh, oh, the attack mechanics feel super wibbly wobbly. Like I can't hit a guy while I'm standing on him even though the animation's going through him. That's not ideal. Frick. I know I'm, I'm close to ending this level. It's just like, this is rough. Yeah, and even if you kill a guy, his attack still goes off. So if I had to give anything, I would say, please, just just tweak the combat system just a tiny bit to be just a little bit more um, either the player can be quicker or you can get a little bit more reaction to the enemy's attacks would be nice um, like there's almost no way to react to the the sword guys and I, I know I'm slow, but I, I'm not that slow. I thought I died. <laughs> it's true. And I guess I could go slower. And I, I guess that is a good point, but if I want to go fast, like if I, if I want to just blaze through this, I think that should be an option that's available to me without... I don't think that's asking too, too much. I guess I could go a little bit slower. What happened there? An enemy that I just killed. Mm. Nothing that kills, kills a game experience more than stuff that makes me sad. Especially when it makes me have to repeat all of this. Got shot from my. <laughs> we got this, though. We got this. I'm not too concerned. Wow. Maybe we don't got it, but we're gonna try real hard to get it. <laughs> I know I can do this. Oh, so close. It's so, like the mechanics are almost forgiving enough to be worthwhile, but they're just they're just not forgiving. <laughs> Oops, that was my fault. That one was my fault. No complaints there. Oh yeah, when they when they're facing away and they suddenly turn around and just like mack you, it's really annoying. Oh, dang, man, you couldn't have been facing the other way? That actually would have probably been a great one, too. And, like, this next part is going to be so hard to get this crystal. I assume with the difficulty of this level that it's going to be one of the last ones. Oh, man, come on. That was bad. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's great. What? What the heck? What the heck's going on? Oh, my fingers are in the. <laughs> like, I can't attack anymore. My fingers are in the wrong spot. Wow. Maybe it's just me not being able to like figure out a good way to deal with these sword guys, but they are really rough. I was lucky. Man. 
then... Great. It's like this sword animation can touch enemies, but it'll be just a little bit outside the range of the sword for some reason. And see, enemies, when they're standing on top of you, they can hit you, but I can't hit enemies when I'm standing on top of them? That seems not cool to me. Lord. Enemies can also attack and move. Like, enemies are feature rich while the hero is not. I do see how they're vulnerable after they've attacked, and that is a great mechanic. I think that is great. Um, without the ability to maneuver after I've attacked, I leave myself open for so long that it's impossible to take advantage of the enemy's inability to move. Oh, see, like there, I, I can't move out of the way of his swing. I guess, I guess, I guess the strategy would be wait until the enemy has attacked and then attack. But like there, they were facing away and instantly, instantly turned around and it was over. Whew. Seen the screen a little too, a little bit too many times. blue thing killed me. I was going to try a new strategy and the blue thing kills me? Like, really? Rude, blue thing. Rude. Ah, oh, frick. So I got the strategy now. I think, I think we're going to have a fine time. We're going to get through on this next run. Easy. Easy, every time. Oh, thank God. Thank God it didn't kill me. Nope. Nope. Because we didn't use our strategy. Dang it. Wow, I actually did combat and didn't lose. That's cool. That time I lost. That guy's... <laughs> if I ever hit the blue guys up top and actually kill them really effectively... They then the, the guy's facing me and always has an attack ready when I land. Oh, what? I don't think I hit that. That was weird. Yeah, oh, that's rough. It's just plain rough. What? I still don't know what I'm hitting there. Like, I must be running into the blue guy, but it does not look like I'm running into that blue guy. It looks like I'm killing him so easily. Man. Whoops. Well, I don't like that either, that you can like clip into the enemy just a tiny, tiny bit. Of course, I'm being more harsh because it's taken me so many jillions of times to do this. What the heck is up with that? That is like the sixth time that's happened.
thing. No, I can't even get onto the bottom. God, I have not made it so very far in this level. <laughs> I have made it nowhere. <gasps> I jumped into the blue ball. Wow. Start doing well and then I jump into things. This game is frustrating. Oh, whoa, what? God, I finally make it down there. I kill the guy. Everything's going great. And a blue thing pops out from under the screen and just murders me. Wonderful. And the blue things are incredibly hard to kill if you don't catch them on the first go around. Mmm. Press the button. <laughs> I'm determined. I'm determined to beat this, but I am also getting very sad and tired of this. <laughs> no, come on, please. Why are you so unforgiving, game? Why? At least the resets are quick. No, please don't. I'm gonna wait until he fires. How do you kill that guy? It's... Can you? Is it possible? Because it doesn't seem like you can hit him. Hey, it did combat and lived again. Wow. No, man, come on. Come on. We need to sing a song. In, in desperate times, we sing songs. That's, that's how we work around here. This is us. This is a song dedicated to this game. Killing me. Killing me so much and killing me a lot. And now I'm so sad. Jump and swing your sword to kill all your enemies killing stuff is so fun when you hit them with your sword and then you die because everything is so ridiculously hard well I don't even think I don't even think I can I can bring my brain to, to a happy place to sing a song about this game I'm just so sad that things keep killing me so hard. There's a blue thing. Can we kill this other blue thing to get it out of our way? Maybe, maybe. <gasps> no! Blue thing, you are fired. You are off this planet. I'm done with you, blue thing. And it bumps into me again. I just want to get to this crystal and hit it so I can possibly escape from this level. And then every time I start doing well, there's a freaking blue thing and they're so hard to kill. Like there. I'm, I don't want to give up, but I might have to for the sake of getting through these last five freaking games I have. My hands are so cold right now. They have no blood flow. Every time I try to hit a blue thing, it like is already swooped into me. Oh my god, all the blue things are dead. All those people are dead. Whew, I got that one.
Oh my gosh. No, the shot from behind. Oh, Miss Vanji. I tried to be so slow and I'm not getting anywhere. Then he hits me. <laughs> then that guy turns around. After I should have hit him. I must have been too close or something. Oh, and the shooty guy gets me. This is such a short level too, and it's not... It's not even that difficult, particularly. It's just punishing. It's not... Soof. Soof. I didn't turn around. Oh, man. That blue thing kills me every time. Wow. That guy should be gone. Oh my god, no! Wow, that was lucky. Okay, I got that blue thing. I just want to activate this blue thing. I don't want it to fly straight into my life. Like that. So incredibly difficult. That was lucky. <gasps> no, 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 no! Wow. I don't know how long I can be dedicated to the cause of this game. I just don't know. I feel like I just need to go for yellow strats and then give this one a break and then come back to it. Man, if 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 I if ever at all I'm doing well with everything else, it's those freaking blue things that come out of nowhere. Oh, I was actually alive. Holy freaking crap garbage. Maybe I can just hit that crystal. That's that's the new goal. Hit the crystal one time. I'm just going to YOLO to it. I'm just going to do it. And this game offers you 16 hours of gameplay on one level. Wow. Congratulations. You are the winner of today's challenge. Really? So the sword's never quite long enough to kill anything. Then those dang blue things, man. And it's like every time... I have a good run going, I can't attack and move, so I am getting murdered because I stop moving or I don't attack. It's either one of those things, it's never both. Yeah, I really, really don't like that attack mechanic at all. Oh my god, that was lucky. <gasps> I 
press the wrong button? Really? I pressed attack instead of jump. Like, that was my own fault. I played this too much to, like, understand how the controls work. I was just gonna YOLO over and hope for the best. Maybe if I'm consistently killing this blue thing, it'll help me out. I can't even do it. too bad at this. Why can he hit me from inside and I can't hit him from inside? I can't even believe you're still watching this. Yeah, it's like, this has been super epic garbage run simulator 2018. Can we please kill this blue guy? Oh my god, thank you. Can we kill this next one? Okay. No! That's the closest I've ever been. I actually hit him. I just want to accidentally do this, okay? I just want to... The thing is, I know once I actually do get to the crystal, at some point, when this does happen, I'm not going to be able to get to the door. Like, the getting to the crystal is so insanely hard. And if you do, if you do what I'm doing and try to just YOLO it, you always get hit by that blue thing. It's like, he's hard programmed to destroy you. Activating that ghosty guy is nice. No. Oh my god. Why can't I hit him? Oh my god. That is so obnoxious. I should be able to hit him right there. Like, that. Would boy in blue, Mr. Frickin' Blue Stupid Thing. Got him. <gasps> oh! I did it! I beat the level! <laughs> ah, I need a break in my life. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Can we just beat this, please? Brother, I've come to call you to account for your actions. Behold, the sword of destiny, which one's which was once stolen, has been reclaimed. Your reign of evil is at an end. <laughs> I have been expecting you, sister. Surely you do not believe that I would have... I, I would be ignorant of the prophecy. She looks like... a brother, I'm just saying. Your knowledge of the prophecy does not matter, fiend. Wait, did you say sister? <laughs> Uh, yeah, my twin sister who's destined to battle me for the fate of the world. Isn't that you? <laughs> no, I'm not a girl. <laughs> you know, I thought your voice sounded awfully deep. Is your mother Lady Geladin of the Sacred Rose? No, I was born in New Jersey. 
Now that I think of it, the prophecy never stated they were twin boys, did I? I just assumed based on gender stereotypes. Yeah, sorry to inconvenience you with all the monsters and traps to getting here. I appreciate all the effort you put in trying to make this duel work. You seem like a really decent guy. I'm really sorry about it not working out. No, it's totally my fault. I I really thought the prophecy was talking about me. I guess I could stop going by the chosen one now. Probably for the best. Hey, incidentally, uh, where did you find the sword? I've been looking everywhere for it. There's this pub called Twilight about 15 minutes from here. The basement connects to some crypts and the sword was in there. The pub owner is really mean. I had to sneak in before dawn and all the pub was closed. Huh, I thought the, the one that who descends to the line between the Twilight for the dawn line was more metaphorical. Yeah, the prophecy is pretty confusing, right? Haha. Ha. Haha, <laughs> I'll say. Okay, well, I guess I'll be going now. Okay, great. Well, thanks for stopping by. Oh, and by the way, I would go put that sword back so my sister can find it and we could fight our duel to decide the fate of the world. That's a good idea. Thanks for being so understanding about all this. Sorry for all the minions that killed on my way here. Ah, hey, don't worry about it. Sometimes kill them myself for fun. I got plenty. <laughs> okay, great. Well, good luck with the duel. Thanks. Hey, hold up a minute. Yeah? So a couple of my evil lieutenants and I go over to the twilight in the evenings and shoot some pool. You're welcome to join us if you'd like. Eh, hey, that'd be cool. See you this evening. Cool. Evil friend. The name changed to evil friend. Oh, thank God. Oh my Jesus. I beat that game. That was the most satisfying victory of this game jam. Overall... I don't know. I still think I want to give it a three because I think the mechanics are pretty punishing. Not being able to move and attack, but being able to jump while attacking and moving. It's kind of confusing, you know, like why have that and not be able to move and attack. Metaness. It, it got meta at the end. It's not super unique. Gameplay innovation. Gotta give it three stars for those. This is just really punishing mechanics. The player, the, like the level... If, if I wasn't frustrated by the mechanics and I was frustrated by the level, I would bump that up so easily. But it was it was difficult because the game felt rough. <laughs> I did have fun, though. Humor is pretty good at the end. Audio is pretty good. Aesthetically, very, very nice. Whoa. So that was punishing. I <laughs> It took me... <laughs> so long to be the last level but I did much to the streams dismay <laughs> I I like it overall I thought the mechanics were a bit sticky and hard to control in spots uh, I'll you'll see when I get the video uploaded how much I complain <laughs> uh, really though oh my gosh great work I've got like low sugar from that. I expended so much energy. <laughs> Woo! So that was Destiny by Mini Babo. Get that hot garbage out of here. All right, this is Player Person by Space Fun 14, a team of one. Let's do this. Game Boy, are you implying that only boys play games? Incredibly politically incorrect. How about Player Person, a unisex device for all? Player person versus version one start. Um, can I start? How do I? How do I do anything? Start. Oh, I actually click on start. I thought I had to use a controller. Oh, my bad. Play me. What is happening? What 
is happening. Dollar money. Everything's scrolling on its own. I finally died. <laughs> Everything's scrolling on its own, friend. And I can't jump and move at the same time. I, you won't believe how much I just complained about not being able to do things at the same time just a minute ago. You won't believe how much I've complained about this. this. I like your really, really terrible music that repeats forever. Oh my gosh. Well, there's the dollar money. Let's get out of here. This is such... Okay. Okay. Tale of Link. You will stay here forever. troll -lo 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 -lo. That was it. Oh, Brick. This game is just called Brick. Glitchy as well. well try blowing on the cartridge. This is name well, not work due to the functionality of the cartridge. I also may have just made up a word. Okay. Oh. You can fall off. It's no big deal. <laughs> can I just hide here until they all go away? No. They're like the annoying... They just reset! Mechanics on this game, player person, are just really garbage. Emulating, of course, the actual Game Boy controls, which were the worst, I mean, noted in history as the worst game controls of all time. Is there a strategy where I can jump through? What game is this supposed to be emulating? Oh, come on. I was trying to jump. Your jump mechanics are so, so hard. Is it supposed to be Donkey Kong? I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was painful. Real painful. Can I just say that I am intrigued by how terrible <laughs> these games are? <laughs> like how purposely awful all of these games. Is this gonna be my life? Can I just stay here forever and get infinite score? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, oh my gosh. Overall, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm going to give you a three because you're getting an extra star because the games were all so awful it felt purposeful. I don't know if that was the intention because they, <laughs> they were so painfully awful. <laughs> Meta-ness. I mean, that kind of makes it meta. It wasn't super unique, but... Gameplay innovation. Oh my gosh. The controls were bad. I did have some fun. It was kind of funny how bad they were. Audio was so terrible, but appropriately terrible. Aesthetically, it was it was really bad. <laughs> this was so bad. But in a good way. A good way. Like, all the mechanics were painful to use. I don't know how you could do this to people seriously why great work <laughs> all right that was player person by space face 14 a terrible terrible game that i hated a lot so three left I'm probably going to end up doing these two and then just giving a rating to Meta Machine since I did play Meta Machine quite a bit um, the other day. 
you know, it's I can already give it a rating. I just wanted to get through the whole thing. Uh, it was really fun. And I'll probably just go back and I'll, I'll give it a rating now so that I've got a rating on it. And I'll just do a personal video where I play through it. <laughs> That'll be great. So we're going to go to The Chosen One by uh, Not A Pixel. Ooh. She's looking fierce. I love that bubble gum paint. Prophecy foretells. Oh my gosh, so many prophecies in this metagame jam. So many prophecies. I've heard many a prophecy. The prophecy foretells the coming of a hero that would defeat the dragon once for all. Are you ready to embrace your destiny? Or are, 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 are you the chosen one? House. Weedle Puff. <laughs> uh, weapon. Axe. Haircut. Long. Oh, yeah. Hair color. Black. Ooh, there's different styles for each color. <laughs> Green, then. She looks like Yang. I love it. Love it. Eyes. Four. Hell yeah. This is so good. Dragon. You are hopeless, like the rest of mankind. Item. You haven't collected any items yet. Dragon. My power is boundless. I'm going to run. You refuse to run away. Not because of courage, but because your legs are shaking. Oh, no. But because, sorry. Did you stole that thing from a dead dwarf? It will be useless to you. I'm going to attack it. You try to move towards the dragon, but you're paralyzed by fear. Ha! Ah, what makes you think a Weedle Puff could be a hero? A Weedle Puff! Magic. You wave your hands in the air and <laughs> nothing happens. How can you be sure that I'm really here and I'm not some kind of hallucination caused by herbs? Attack. You hurt yourself in your confusion. <laughs> the dragon killed you. You were not the Trojan one. <laughs> well, frick. <laughs> um, Hollister. Okay. Oh, the intellectual type. Let's see if you can outsmart me. Attack. Your weapon is sipping, slipping from your soaked hands. Double-edged weapons can backfire, you know. They are double-edged, after all. Magic. You focus your mind on your inner energy. Then you get distracted by a butterfly. How many fingers are these? You hit nothing but air. You aimed at no <laughs> But you aimed at nothing any... Not that you aimed at anything first. Whew! I cannot read today. Brain is dead. Careful with that axe, human. Attack. You just can't fight that huge dragon. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Are you sure you can see me? <laughs> you blame the prophecy that took you here while you continue to slice away the void. You are not the chosen one. Well, fine. We're going to be Valenstone. We're going to have a sword. We're going to have long white hair. And we're going to have blue eyes. Bam. This will be your last battle, Valenstone. Your attacks have no effect. You start to wonder if you are not the chosen one after all. Where is the rest of the Valenstone army? Did they left you all alone? Even a thousand of you would stand no chance. Attack. You finally realize there's someone stronger than you. In this case, everyone. Oh, poor little angel. I'll send you back to heaven in a minute. Magic. You reach for the memories of your magic training class, which you never took. Life's a bleach, isn't it? Attack. You finally realize there's someone stronger than you. In your case, everyone. Your sapphire eyes don't scare me. Nothing can. You finally realize there's always someone stronger than you. In your case, everyone. Oh, that, the same message so many times. Alright, we're going to try a golden staff with a dagger, short hair, pink, and it's going to be uh, green. Bam. It's not like they say, you know, size does matter, especially for a weapon. You finally realize there's always someone stronger than you. In your case, everyone. That's going to be just the message every time. Is a proper bigger weapon heavy to carry? Item. Where's your backpack? Do you cut your hair by yourself with a knife? You feel like you control the elements, but it's just a feeling. Okay, well, I'm getting I'm getting the point of this game. It's that you can't actually be... Uh... Yeah, I don't know if you can actually defeat it. I don't know. Couldn't... Okay, let's see. I'm just trying to see if there's a comment from the developer who can... Say, hey, you can actually beat the dragon. 
there actually is a specific combination written in the prophecy and a logical process that leads you to discover the by process of elimination. Combination is reset when you win or close the game. Oh, it gives you a random thing. Oh, you're supposed to use it to figure out how to defeat the dragon. Okay, so there is a way. I thought it could, I mean, honestly, it, it could be, it, it could just be a troll because it's a metagame. It, it could totally make sense. Fool, attack. Try to move towards the dragon, but you're paralyzed by fear. Why are you even trying? You hurt yourself in confusion. Your sapphire eyes don't scare me. Nothing can. Your weapon is slipping from your soaked hands. No one knows what it's like beneath your eyes. To hi behind your eyes, huh? You hit nothing but air. You aimed at nothing first. Too much spice, huh? You just can't figure that huge dragon. Fight that huge dragon. Okay. So he mentioned. Uh, Valenstone, so you're too scared, so maybe Gold Dagger with a dagger with short black hair and green eyes. Say goodbye to your precious life, Gold Dagger. You blame the prophecy took you here. Well, it's going to slice the void. It's not like they say you know size does matter, especially for a weapon, so it's not dagger. Your attacks have no effect. You start to wonder if you're chosen one. Why didn't you hire some mercenaries to help you? You finally realize there's always strong and strong, in your case, everyone. It's a real pity, but I have to incinerate that pair of emerald eyes of yours. Maybe it is emerald eyes, then. Is that a positive thing? You can't buy me, Gold Dagger. I'm not one of those treasure hoarding dragons. Finally realize, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I think it's not Gold Dagger. I think I'm going to go with Hollister. I'm going to go with Staff. Long green hair with... We'll try green eyes again. Why not? Such long hair and such a short life. What a pity. That sounds kind of positive, right? You remind me of Shakespearean monster of jealousy. Wave your hands in the air. Nothing happens. I'll take your green eyes and, and make a necklace with them. Uh, this is not a hike. This is a battle. Okay. Great, you arrived just in time for my new veggie diet. <laughs> Great. So I don't think green is the right color. Long sounded good. Uh, we'll go with Weedle Puff, and we'll go with uh, blue and green, and we'll go with Axe. Why not? Try it. Your hair makes me feel like Gargamel. <laughs> okay. Did you stole that thing from Dead Dwarf? It'll be useless to you, too. Wait, so when is... I don't know. You finally realize there's always someone stronger. You have a feeling you're being controlled by a... What if the clue is human like you? Oh, imagine the burning smell when I do light you up. Everyone has the blues sometimes. Always in your particular case. Man. So wait, it says it resets the combination if you die? Isn't that what they said? And... Uh, wait, wait, wait. The common when you win or close the game. So when you die, it doesn't reset, but I close the game. Man, it is hard to figure out. Jeez. Uh, shoot, I'll give it one more try. I'm not, I'm not going to talk through them this time. I'm just going to kind of skip through as fast as I can and see what the dragon says and hope for the best. All right. Tiny little pieces. Um. Well, he seemed to have nothing to say about anything, so I guess we'll go with all of the bottom stuff this time. Two, you like bubble gum. What a cute, sweet little human. Fine plushy. Okay, I don't think the... the so the hair and the... The color. Hair color and... Whatever the last thing is are all wrong. So... 
So I had long pink hair, so now I have to have short blue hair. And blue eyes, because I think he liked the blue eyes. Um, we'll tie Weedle Puff and a staff. Hair makes me feel like Gargamel. I don't know if that's good. This is a hike, not a battle. Oh, staff's not right then. Afraid of sharp objects? Me too, so it's a sharp object. Blacksmith is already closed. I feel like I've got everything right except for the weapon. I feel like that might be it, because he didn't mention anything but the weapon. So we're going to grab a sword. A sword! How unexpected! Us dragons are so unfamiliar with the concept of heroes with swords that we are always caught unsurprised by surprise when they show up. Um, humans should not send their children to fight. Oh, it's just your haircut. Sorry. Want to save money on shampoo and conditioner? Smart move. Better than showing up here at the very least. No one knows what's like behind your eyes, right? Uh, dang. Prophecy was wrong. The chosen one is said to have beautiful long hair. But wait, prophecies are never wrong. Okay, so I have to have long hair then. Oh, frick. I just repeated. Too much spice, huh? <laughs> I just can't eat. Okay. Just for fun. Okay. There's no mention of blue hair color like that in the prophecy. Okay, sweet. Not blue, long hair. We got this, we got this. So it's not blue and it's long hair. It's long hair for sure. Um, I tried pink, we'll go with green. This is looking all right though. He hasn't mentioned my name. No one ever told you you have baby eyes? Different eyes, just for fun. I asked for no real reason. Nine for my new veggie diet. Just for fun. Your blue eyes won't do. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Green. Red. We'll do red. Leave everything the same and just do red. Burning gaze is nothing compared to my incendiary blow. If you stare too much into fire, your red eyes will melt. Want to try? Do you have an all-nighter? Are you planning to start photosynthesizing? Chosen One has no sword weapon. Thanks for giving me a finally... <laughs> Must be a dagger. It's got to be sharp and not a sword. There we go. Take your red eyes and make a blaze bracelet. It's not like they say, you know, size doesn't matter, especially for... Then it has to be an axe! Green hair color won't do. Dang. No toothpicks allowed here. Dang, man. This is so hard. So, green hair won't do. So we'll go with black. Uh, we'll go with the axe, and we'll try that. Not the sharpest tool. Red eyes won't do. Dang. No red eyes. Uh... He's mentioned red eyes, like, a bunch of times. So we're going to try the glasses. You. You. Your first hit pierces through the dragon scales like butter. Yes, we finally did it. That's impossible. You barely move your weapon, yet the dragon is seriously wounded. That's not fair. My power. You just think about attacking the dragon and a wound appears. The prophecy was right. You point your weapon at the dragon. His HP bar starts to slowly drain. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You put down your weapon and hit the dragon with your little finger. It causes more damage to the dragon than all the previous stats combined. You killed the dragon. You're the chosen one. Yay. Okay, I beat it. I'm happy. Okay. That was a, a twist on, you know, that old style of guess the thing and I'll tell you if it's right or not. But this one's a little sort of vague, so it was kind of... Whew. Kinda crazy. Alright, overall, I'm gonna give that a 4. I really liked it. The meta -ness was good. Unique. It wasn't super unique. Meta-wise, it was a game parody, I think. Um, uh, 
Uh, target specific part of it features game mechanic deconstruction to staple or swapped. Okay. Uh, gameplay innovation. It was, it was interesting. I, I kind of liked it. It was an, a twist on an old classic. Oh my gosh. Shush. Facebook. Jeez. I'm trying to have a high quality content. Just one though. Oh, uh, it was pretty fun. It was pretty funny. Audio was fine. Aesthetically, it was pretty pretty all right. They said they wanted a different dragon. They were going to create their own creature. So they're losing a star for that. Sorry about it. Uh, okay. It took forever to start figure this out. I thought it was... Oh, my God. No! The yawns. The yawns have taken me. <laughs> I thought it was a troll, honestly. I didn't know there was a real way to win. But it, I did get there. Um, I had to check the comments. Uh, I am the chosen one. Good work. Okay, that was a lot longer than it needed to be. <laughs> okay, that was that was good. I, I see it was a guess and choose sort of eliminate possibilities game, so that makes more sense. Chosen one by Not a Pixel Studio. Last game, last game. Thank God. Uh, oh yeah, they they removed some entries. Uh, so. Which entries? I'm, I'm, I'm messaging Xavier. Just give me a second. I'm sorry. Uh, did you remove? I think I rated them already. So just curious. Okay. So this is PC Computer Builder Simulator by Computer Builder. <laughs> What an apt name. Web-based game where you pick parts to put in your computer to make it work. Super game power. Uh. CPU. Oh, is that your motherboard? Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's happening? Alrighty then. That was, this is really strange. <laughs> um, okay. All right, that was a team of four. Dang, this game parodies low quality education games. Such games, poorly cartoon graphics, simplicity, over happy, overtly happy music, as well as point and click drag and drop gameplay that teaches children. Oftentimes, gameplay has very little educational value due to the reliance on easy win condition and meaningless puzzles. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. I might play it one more time just to see if it broke or. Oh, it started the game again in like a separate window. <gasps> oh my god. This this part's actually hilarious. times now <laughs> oh man oh my gosh that was fantastic okay 
I did not mean to close that. Well, we're gonna refresh this game, this page, and look at all these ratings. Oh, so good. We're gonna go ahead and rate PC computer part builder simulator. That, okay, so overall I'm gonna give that a four, but only because it fulfilled their goals so perfectly. It was exactly what they set out to create. And you know what? I appreciate that. The menace quality is really good. The uniqueness is pretty good. Gameplay innovation, I mean, <laughs> they couldn't do a lot with it, but it was kind of fun. It was literally hilarious. The audio was so bad, aesthetically, really. I mean, I have to give it points for aesthetics because that's exactly what they were going for. Like, that was the point. I thought this was a robot. I thought there was a robot with a face. I, I did not get that, that was the motherboard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I loved that when I won, it opened a new <laughs> window with the same music playing over top of it. Then I won again and it inceptioned again. Pure brilliance. Uh, definitely accomplished your goals and did a great job. Jog! No, job. Uh, incept inceptioned. I guess we'll put a dash because spell check doesn't like that. And I guess we could put that. That's fine. All right. That is it. Basic computer build simulator. It's great. All right. I don't think I made a comment on this one, but I will. I, this requires so much time and effort to complete. But it's so worth it. I really enjoyed this one I really enjoyed this one uh, it was a bit hard to figure out at first but it really got uh, good once you got the mechanics down I would have liked to have seen uh, a clearer um, objective to obtain the next page. I think it was very throw at a wall and hope sticks sort of gameplay inside the games. Uh, overall, amazing work. Post comment. Let's give this bad boy a rating. We're going to give this overall a five. It's just really, really good. I love this one. Uh, meta -ness quality. Very meta. Very unique. Um, gameplay innovation. I love all the mini games. I'm going to give it a three on this, though, because of those couple of notes I had. And that was the... Um, the, the the it was hard to kind of figure out at first well, the instructions were pretty clear but it still was kind of hard to figure out at first it might be nice to start the game off with a limited button set um like like a, like a top panel like a tutorial panel that goes over everything that's on here um and then have the instructions for the very first page okay and and then it just has the buttons laid out and they're very clear and then when you finish that first puzzle the top lifts off and then you're left with all of this then you're left with everything and i think part of it was you know the click everything sort of fantasy but it would have been nice to just like lead us through that with gameplay and i think that would have been an easy way to do it and then the other thing of course is that the, the mini games are extremely extremely challenging like almost to the point of being overtuned almost like they're appropriately difficult but they are 
extremely challenging and it's not clear how to get all of the pages like i don't know if there's a theme to the bonus pages and a theme to the meta pages or what so sorry about that <laughs> fun super fun um it's not super hilarious but i mean i did laugh a lot because i died so much audio was I think there was fine audio in this. Aesthetically, very beautiful. Definitely a great game. Definitely wonderful. And with that, that is our last <laughs> rating. Now, some of you might be looking at this and going, oh, but wait, you have these three. Well, this is our game. I can't rate my own game, so I won't rate that one. This game is unfinished, does not work. So I'm not giving it a rating because I just simply can't get it to work. Celine's Dream constantly gives me a Trojan alert. And so, unless that's fixed, I'm just not gonna play it. And I'm sorry about that, I know it's not, it's not necessarily fair, but I don't want it, I don't want weird stuff to happen to my computer. <laughs> so we're just gonna, just gonna leave it at that. Um, we have rated, well, I guess there's 114 entries now. There's been a couple that have been knocked off for a suspicious voting fangs but um there were 117 and i've done all but three so i have done 114 entries worth of ratings and reviews and streaming and it's been so much work but i'm glad it's finally over uh i'm gonna check on these couple last comments real quick just for funsies this was on amazeballs dudes which we played earlier cheers you had Turning worked better, but I put back a punch that screwed up the controls a bit. I'll probably do another update to fix it. Um, and I'll put out a nice post jam version at some point, rewrite the code, and add a few more moves. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sounds good. And then we had Space Face. Um, I gave myself little goals to make this game a huge prank of sorts. Like every track had to be made in 10 seconds or less. Oh my gosh. That's a great explanation, and it really worked for your game. I, 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 I see it. I see it. So that was for player person. And that's all the comments we have right now, so I am going to head out. I'm going to have all of these videos up on YouTube in the next week. Um, so that'll be great. I'll link them all probably to their games, which is going to be a lot of work because it was so much recording and so much doing. But, hey, what can you do? Thanks to everyone who's tuned in at any point in this stream and anyone who's followed or, you know, all of that stuff. I'm hoping to do more of things on Twitch and YouTube in the future because, you know, I'm obviously going to get famous and make millions of dollars every moment of my life. So I'm going to end that there for today. Obligatory stop stream look and I will talk to everyone later. Goodbye.